What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live. I'm your host, Justine, and welcome to my world. <laughs> oh, what's up, Willie? What's up? My arms look chunky and fat, and then I look muscular. I look muscular. Like I'm about to knock somebody out. It look chunky. It look fat. I gotta get the little, the little thing of them. What it is though. But what's up? What's up everybody? Welcome back to another live. Let me grab my drink. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first of the month. Hey Jay, I'm sad. Nobody likes me. Hey, Only Sam. Hey, Kenya. Hey, MJ's Fashion. Welcome. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why I'm liking this drink. It is too strong. Y'all, it's... Hey. Hey, Shamita. Hi. <laughs> hey, Blue. Hey, Claire. Dana. Jordan. Y'all, I just, I just feel like nobody liked me. Nobody liked me. Been watching you for a while, just catching your live. Okay, welcome. Glad you caught it. You're sad for what? Because don't nobody like me. Hey, Shay. <laughs> Tracy, Jamil, what's up, y'all? What's going on in these YouTube streets? Give me some. You know, it's like a little decoction. I just mad. Hey, Carlotta. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> Look at Michelle. <laughs> oh, Carlotta, how was your birthday? Y'all, I haven't been to the post office. I'm so sorry. I haven't mailed off anything to you guys because I haven't been to the post office. I got to make a trip. Haven't been to the post office. Um, it's been a busy few days. Hey, Missy. Welcome. Hey, Luan. Why Blue keeps saying that? <laughs> I love you guys, too. I love y'all so much. I'm doing great. I had worked a little bit today. And then, um, decided to post a picture finally on Instagram. So I did that. And then poured me a drink. And I said, you know what? I'm about to just go hang out with everybody. You went to Castle and Costa. How was it? Because we was going to go there on Saturday. And I didn't. How was it? Because I was like, I don't want to be hanging outside. Was it Saturday? No, Friday. No. No. Yeah, I think it was Friday. We was going to go there. I'm sick with the cold, but I'm here with ginger tea. Oh, sorry to hear that, Lawan. I hope you feel better. Please like the live, guys. I appreciate it. Anyways, y'all, you know how you just be getting in your feelings and you just be like wondering where your life is going to be headed and not knowing what you want to do in life. Like, why am I still confused about life? And I'm 50 years old. Like, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Hey, Chrissy. Welcome. Do y'all think I should just quit YouTube? Maybe I should just quit YouTube and just go work hard somewhere and do 16-hour shifts and just go work doing 16 hours a shift and just... Come home, go to sleep, get up, go to work, 6, 18 hours, come back home. Just don't do no interactions. Just uh, stay to myself. <laughs> you been crying all day? Why? Tell you, today is a gloomy day. It's, it's all gloomy outside. It's been raining like crazy in Arizona. I don't know what's going on. Carlotta, ha haven't it been raining? 
Carlotta, no. It's been gloomy. It's been gloomy all day. I was just watching your last live, honey. That dog situation tore, tore you up like it did me. Baby, tore me up. I don't know what it was. It's just like she's just so senseless. She already be don't give a F about people. And we already know that. You know what I'm saying? But just the, oh, my God. That just did something to me. Knowing you did something wrong and you just going to keep on going like you didn't. Hey, Steven. God bless you. No, don't quit. <laughs> no. Glad to see you happy, prospering. God favors is on you. Thank you, Marilyn. Don't you even try it. <laughs> yeah. Why everybody keep saying it? Yes, it's April Fools. Y'all know I had to come over here. I had to think of something to say. I ain't know what to say. I could have thought of something, probably something else to say. But if I said I was pregnant, y'all know damn well I wouldn't be pregnant because y'all be like, who she pregnant by and how did she get pregnant? She can't even hold a baby. <laughs> oh. That good eye bad had me rolling, girl. You crazy. Hey, Lorinda, how you doing? <laughs> Happy Easter. Happy Easter, y'all. Happy late Easter. Don't worry, girl. I'm 49, still trying to figure out I was just getting started with YouTube. Girl, that's how I feel. I'm like, you don't, life is crazy. Like you just, I don't know. People be having careers all set and God bless them for having their careers all set. But baby, I don't have my career all set. I've, I've been trying to figure this stuff out since I was in my 20s and still ain't got it figured out. Hey, uh, Ther Therese, Theresia. <laughs> Karen, hey, what's up? Don't play with it. It's gloomy here in Louisiana. I don't know. The weather just got me down. It just make me feel lazy. It make me feel just like ugh, you get to thinking about stuff. I don't like thinking. Like, well, not that kind of thinking. I like thinking about good stuff. Like, what kind of, you know, information I need to look up so I can tell my people on YouTube you know, things, you know, I need to know and love to share. I won't charge you. I won't charge you for the information. I'm going to give it to you for free. <laughs> Send me gifts. Did you see Circus Recap? So what happened? I seen Circus Recap says something about... Yeah, first of all... <laughs> First of all, this woman is playing in our face. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> Depression, yes, we love us some Justin. <laughs> yes, you get down, but you guys, we fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. <laughs> Y'all, you know this lady is playing in our face, right? And I'm getting, I don't, I said I wasn't going to get pissed off about this animal situation no more. But you know she's playing in our face, right? Let me tell y'all, number one, number one. So I see, who was that that posted something about she was looking at some dog? Oh, I think it was Eris. Eris said in her live, she looking at dog stuff in the, um, in the store. Girl, that's, don't, that's really throwing flames to the fly fire that's really that's trolling she's throwing flames she's really playing with our fucking intelligence she's really wanted wanted she really trying to really pick at us like we like we crazy or something like she really trying to f with us i hope y'all know that right y'all know that right so i think it was eris b said in her live she, she said something about she was going to the store looking at pet furniture, pet stuff. Now, you know, uh, you know, uh, woman, you know damn well you're not finna get no damn pet. And you know damn well we ain't got no interest in looking at no pet shit with you. You hit that damn dog. How about talk about that? 
Instead of running your ass to the damn store looking at some damn pet furniture and dog food and cat food and, and, uh, and, and where the dog gonna eat, sleep, stay. Girl, you get a dog, we're gonna report your ass. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? You, you cannot have no, you cannot have animals. You are in danger to the animal society. Like this, the whole animal crew don't want you. Did you see how Charlene Animals was acting towards you? You see how they, you come around and like, what the fuck? <laughs> Girl, are you serious? And you gonna play with us? You gonna play in our face like that? And then Circus Recap says something about she at the farm? This woman is, so out of all the places you could have went, you could have went to the circus, you could have went to the to the jewelry store, you could have went to Ross, you could have went to Dollar Tree, you could have went to uh, the woods, you could have went to the pond, but you had to go to the zoo, where it's many, many animals. Many, many animals. You're playing with us, right? You, you, you really wanna, you really wanna taunt us. But really, you're not taunting nobody but your damn self. We didn't hit the damn animal. You did. You did. But you want us to keep on talking about your ass. Your crazy ass. You really want us to keep talking about your crazy ass. You really crazy. You really crazy. How about addressing the dog? Why are you taunting us? Why are you trying to add more flames to the fire? Talk about the dog. Talk about, hey, can you sit, make a sit-down video talking about you hit the dog? I'll watch it. I want to see what the fuck you got to say. <laughs> uh, I want to see what the fuck you got to say. Because <laughs> we heard it. We heard it. We saw it. We heard it. She showed his cuckoo for cuckoo pup. Girl, the girl is really it. She said she's an animal. She said that? Lorinda, did she say that or you trying to ape or fools me? <laughs> Are you ape or fooling me, girl? She couldn't have said that. No animal like her. I saw that. I think it's a great aggravating. She despised you and it's a shame. Oh, yeah, she despised me. It's crazy. But I don't despise her because ain't shit she has I won't. I don't care less about her. I don't, I don't feel no kind of way. I mean, I feel I'm angry when it comes to my information being doxxed and you trying to steal my information to try to come up and you try to bribe me and stuff like that. Yeah, that pisses me off. But the next thing pisses me off is how the hell you did that damn dog. I'm sorry. I don't got no love. I ain't got... I, I, I got to heal from that situation. You understand it? So I got to heal from my ex. My ex uh, 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 threatening me. I got to heal from that shit. Then I got to heal from meeting a stranger off the fucking street. You, don't, you know, you ever heard that you don't let in strays. I got to heal from, from letting in a stray, trying to be nice. And then, you know I said? Don't bite your hand to feed you. I fed your ass, but you bit my fucking hand. Then I got to heal from that situation. Then I got to heal from the situation with my ex. Woo. I think I'm being tested. I'm being tested. Please like the live, y'all. Don't quit, YouTube. We love you. Oh, thank you. Well, how you say name? Charlene. <laughs> I think... At the rattlesnake event. What? What's she saying? We could we should call the park to see if anybody report a fall before it hit at the national park. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong? She trying to taunt. Do you understand what she's trying? She's trying to taunt us. Because we we feel a certain kind of way. We think, but you know what? You're miserable. You're miserable. I still gonna sleep at night. 
You still got to, you know, lay one way, baby. I can twist, turn, do flips in my bed. I got a bunch of room I can move around in. Matter of fact, I don't live in a two-by-two. Two. I can go ahead and, and move around, and I, I can do all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? I got rooms. I got a certain area I can put my shoes. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to put them on the stove. I got an area for that. She took the video down. Oh, probably because it's the first. She, you know, so she can get paid off the video. Hey, Bianca, thank you. Don't leave. She's a hater with the one eye. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hey, Amy, welcome. How you doing? That was the first time I seen her licking her fingers after eating shrimp. Girl, we, we used to her licking her fingers, sucking her toes. Like, she just do the most. You know what I'm saying? And that, when it comes to her, I'm not surprised about anything. Do you hear me? When it comes to her, I'm not surprised. What was surprised me is when she used etiquette. Now, that was shocked the hell out of me. Using proper etiquette will blow me away. <laughs> you do some etiquette, baby. What, where, what rock did you come from under? How, what side of the bed? Well, I forgot. What side of the flow you came? What side of the flow you woke up on? <laughs> Shit. Come with some etiquette, girl. I want to know what the hell happened to you. Did something off the stove hit you in the head while you was laying on the floor? Can't wait for Eris B and recap. I want to know what happened at the zoo. Uh, uh, circus put something. She was at the zoo. And they show her at the... Girl, this girl really thinks she funny. She tried at the coffee shop. What she tried to do? She tried what to do? Use etiquette? <laughs> she was talking to the horse rubbing his face and said that she's an animal whisper. So if you're an animal whisper, did you whisper to the damn dog that you hit to see was he Okay. Did you whisper to him? Or is you only whisper to animals? I mean, horses, you don't whis whisper to dogs. Which one is it? Did you whisper to the damn dog that you hit and say, uh, are you okay? Are you okay? I, I, I gotta keep going. Did you whisper to the dog to see was he okay? M uh, Miss Horse Whisper, Animal Whisper, whoever you are, ain't nowhere in the world. You think you a damn animal whisper. You seen that video that Circus put out where she was talking about the dog? Everybody knew she was talking about a dog before. Everybody was saying, oh, she y'all seen what she said about the dog. So when Circus put the video up about what's all the stuff she said about the dog, that lets you know she don't give two cents about a dog. The, the napkin wipe was priceless. I seen that on um, Deborah's channel. What, what, Eris, Eris B, what you say? I left a comment up some. Oh, she left a comment up some. On here? I'm trying to go up to see. Have a blessed night. Go back and watch the live. Be safe. Okay, tequila. Welcome. I don't see her. I don't see. Hey, um, little mommy. I don't see her comment. Is that what she said? I don't see. I don't know what she's talking about. Let me go back down. Let this girl talking to a goddamn horse, rubbing face, I'm gonna animal whisper. Girl, I did a short call, what I do, what I do with my poo and have some cinnamon buns right next to poop the the girl did a short call what I do with my poo and have some cinnamon buns 
right next to the poo bag. This is the reason why she act the way she do. She think is she love to have people. She really want people to speak on her and talk about her. But why would you want somebody to talk about you in the wrong way? You an idiot. You's a straight idiot. Speak your truth about it. Don't let her turn you into a mean girl. Stay sweet. I am Kimmy. When she was on her way to the farm, she said she didn't want anyone to know her location, but yet she's showing herself at a farm. Didn't talk didn't take folks long to figure out her location. Oh. <laughs> She's an idiot. She was saying if she got an animal, it would be a car. Oh, shit, I missed it. Dang. Eris B, I don't know what you said. I missed it. I didn't see your comment. Y'all, please like the live. We got over 200 people in here. We should be at at least 150 likes. I really want 200 likes, but y'all haven't been liking. Y'all think I should just quit YouTube and just get off these YouTube streets because it's been very dangerous for me. It's been very dangerous. This woman got all my information, all kind of shit. She weird. No, don't quit. <laughs> don't quit. Justine, she said she left a comment on the circus new community post. Oh, okay, Eris, I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see it, girl. You said you better not quit. Oh, I better not quit. <laughs> Hello, Justine, everybody here in the chat. Hey, Louisa, welcome. I bet someone at the park owns the dog. Poor dog. I could only hope they saw it and got her license in place. Oh, what about the park had cameras? Justine, you're not a critter. Quitter. You're right, Miss Gloria. I can't give up. I can't give up. Stop saying the hello every... every you <laughs> I can't give up. Eris, guess what? It's five. What time it is? Oh, it just turned six o'clock. It just turned six o'clock here, boo. And guess what? I'm drinking. I'm drinking early because I ain't got shit to do. And I can go to bed early and I can wake up early. <laughs> I'm not going to quit, y'all. It's April Fool's. April Fool's, y'all. I had, I had to come up on here with something. Give me the park number. I will call in. What's the park number? Should we call in? Oh, what about if we called in on live? I ain't doing it. <laughs> I ain't doing it because I want them to have my... Should we do it? Should I do it? Should I be... That's being a good citizen. I am a good citizen. Today's my mom's death day and tomorrow's my dad's. Oh, I'm sorry, Eris B. Oh my goodness. You lost your mama on Jan I mean on um April 1st. I lost my mama on January 1st. That's crazy. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I know it's a sad day for you. We were just talking about earlier in the live that today has been like a gloomy, sad day. You know, I was kind of like in my feelings about like my life, my career, my direction. Like I'm 50 years old. I feel like I should be in a career doing something, but I'm not. I'm lost. <laughs> Baby, I am lost. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it 100. That's why I always tell my kids, don't you be like me. You better be better than me. Don't do what I do. You do something better. I'm drinking two, two. cheers. Cheers, Lorinda. <laughs> uh, I lost my brother on this day seven years ago. Oh, sorry to hear that, Lawan. Man, today, y'all, today is just that day. There is be so sorry to hear that, but just keep thinking of all the good things you will get through. Yeah, you have to think about the positive stuff. Now she got me thinking about my mama.
But I but because she lost her mom and I lost my mom, I know how it feels. You know? We're not heartless. We we had relationships with our mother. You understand me? Like I miss my mama. <laughs> I miss my mama. And every time I used to see my mama, I used to kiss on her. And she's like, go on, girl, get off me, girl, go on, get off me. You know how it is. <laughs> but I don't regret not one thing. I wish y'all did it more. You know what I'm saying? I wish y'all had kissed her more. And then sometimes I wish y'all had waited to move away. No, I had to move away. I had to move. I didn't have to move away this far. No, I, I, I still feel like I had to move away. I, I just I, I just feel like I can't change that. I just feel like I had to move away. I was dealing with so much going on in Milwaukee, and then my grandbaby was out here. I had to just, I had to, I had to move. I had to move. You remind me so much of me, but God taught me better today. Oh, thank you too much. There's nothing like the feeling of losing your mom, Charlene. Yeah, my mom did that too. too. <laughs> when you kiss an older, Aries B, we all in this together. There's nothing God can get us through. Yes. You know what I used to, I just, I used to pray. Just like, for, God, please give me the strength. Give me the strength to make it through. Help me to heal. I know, like, at the time, at the time, like, I knew one day I wouldn't feel the pain that I felt right then and there. But when you right there in the pain, when you first lose somebody, you don't know when the pain is going to ease up. You just don't know when. A lot of people mourn longer than others. It, they do. They mourn longer than others. But yeah, I lost my mama January um, 1st, 2021. Sorry to hear that. Thanks for everybody. Four second was too much. Ex ex exactly one year. That's crazy. Exactly one year and one day. Hey, everybody, Justin, you move. Yes, I did, Ru Ruby. Oh, Gloria says she love you, Aris B. Enough with all this sad stuff. Let's change directions on the conversation. Something more upbeat. <laughs> Look at Sonya. Yeah, today seemed like a little gloomy day. I was kind of thinking, you know, I was kind of like in my feelings and stuff like that. And then, um, thank you, Ruby. I am proud of you, Justin. Oh, thank you. Lost both my grandmothers in 2021. Oh, sorry to hear you hear that. Your hair look great. Thank you. Thank you, Ruby. Yeah, but, um, yeah, Aris B, I, I will be praying that God give you strength to get through the next couple of days, you know, and help you. Yeah, let's bring positive to the pet. So, Aris B, what happened at the zoo? What, what was Circus posted? Something about the zoo? This woman is trying to taunt us. Do you understand me? This woman is getting on here trying to really push this animal shit. First, you said, y'all, you said on your live that she had went into the. Are you going live tonight? Are you going live tonight? Because I'll tell everybody come over there to your live and we can continue this on your live. <laughs> I'm telling every. Like. Everybody, like, Eris B said something about she went into a store looking at pet stuff. Like, in my mind, I was like, is this, is this woman for real? You hit a dog a couple days ago. You won't address it. You in the damn store looking for pet stuff like you want a damn pet. No damn well, you don't want no damn pet. And now you at the zoo. Now you at the zoo. I love when Jesse said, do you hear me? <laughs> I called and talked to the park owner, and he said they asked her to leave. She was kicked out. Ooh, 
did, did she feel me? Did she feel me? Was she lied? Did she, was she lie when they put her out? When they lie when they told her she got to go? <laughs> LaWise said she stay on the farm. No, she stay in the woods. On sometimes parking lots. Hell no. Oh shit. She ended the lie. This is T. Amy said, OMG, Circus posted everything on the community play. I seen she, he posted, or I can't say he, she, I don't even know who the hell Circus is, but I seen Circus posted. Oh, yes, we talking about Tasty. You know, too much. Where you been? You know Tasty hit a dog? Tasty hit a dog. And, and, and hit the dog. We heard the dog yelp. She hit, we seen the dog in her glasses. So we seen the dog, I had, I had to tell my daughter this. She was like, yeah, mama. She said, mama, I did see the little figure and then I heard it, the dog, you know? And I was like, oh my God. And then the woman goes to the zoo today. They say she went to the zoo. Oh, Miss Gloria, thank you for the super sticker. Happy April Fools. Thank you. She goes to the zoo. She's trying to taunt us. And the kid, oh my God. What little Kevin do? Who little Kevin? Y'all, this is just too much tea. And someone called in her license plate to the park and they passed it to the police. Are you kidding me? Hold on, I gotta grab my other phone because I wanna know is is this a charge for hit and run with a dog? Hold on. I'm gonna Google that shit right now. Cause I don't wanna get Is it a charge to hit and to do a hit and run on a dog? Oh, good thing y'all got the footage. They say, Aries B, they say that she took down the video. There's generally not specific criminal laws regarding hit a dog, but other pet with a car and fleeing. Wait, what the hell are y'all talking about? That's a hit and run. Y'all worried y'all worried about if a if if a if a uh, person mistreats a dog. What the fuck? What you mean? What is the charge for a hit and run to a dog in Texas. In Texas, it is illegal. Just don't demonstrate with the napkin. <laughs> Give me, girl. It is illegal to abandon an am Hitting a dog and leaving the scene may meet the legal definition of a crime, and you could be prosecuted for cruelty, animal cruelty. Animal cruelty, girl. You effed up. 
you f up hey still i rise welcome girl you did it you you incriminated yourself girl keep your camera on 24 7 because we want to know what you're doing we need to know your every move because you over here acting a fool on these youtube streets ain't nobody else like you i can say you're one of the kind <laughs> now the mommy sector that's a whole different because them mommy sector, them girls should be having no kids. But she she ain't got no kids. So we can't even put she's in a, her own sector. It's called Looney Toon. <laughs> Looney Toon. Y'all remember the cartoon Looney Toon? I used to love me some Looney Toon. Anyways, what happens if you hit a dog and run? You could be charged. You will be. You could be charged for animal cruelty and failing to notify owners of property and damage. Oh, girl. First, you ran away from the police. Now, you hit a damn dog and run. And then you sitting up here wishing death on people. Girl, I see the karma all on you. I see the karma all on If we, if, if we want to see this, <laughs> we seeing this. Like, I see the karma and the bad hooju that you trying to put on other people. It's coming on to you, idiot. Girl, you done lost your damn rabbit. Oh, my God. Talisa, thank you for the super sticker. I don't know why I do that every time I get a super sticker, but baby, it excites me. Can we get this live to 200, please? 200, please, so I don't quit YouTube. <laughs> Girl, what happened? This lady has lost her marbles. Do you understand me? She's sitting up here, and she will sit and do a prayer. Let's pray. <laughs> Lord, please return everything to their footstep. Baby, you're getting it. You're getting it. For all the crazy ass shit you're doing, we're watching it in, we're watching it working. And I ain't even gotta pray. I ain't even got to pray. I wouldn't even pray anyway. I'm never gonna pray on nobody's downfall. That's not what I do. I pray for your, yo, I, I help, I pray that your insane mind goes sane. That's what I pray for. Shit. I'll never pray for nobody's downfall. <laughs> Oh, she gonna wish little on the rancher that that asked her to leave the farm. She wish ill on. Her. Did she post? Did she make a video? Was this on the video circus? Cause I want it. Should I go to it? Should I go to the video? <laughs> this is crazy. You better not quit. Nah, no, I ain't gonna quit. I would never wish ill on nobody. You know, my daughter told me that. She said, she said, that woman has done so much foul stuff, and I could never wish death on her. I said, me either. Me either. Death is permanent. Ain't death is permanent. I could I said, I can't even believe she called herself a Christian and say the things she say. But y'all see all these other Christians out here, these pastors and stuff being exposed, and baby. We can't believe them. You think we're going to believe her? Who is she? She has no credibility of anything. Like, y'all better wake up with these false prophets and crazy little tune people misleading. She's misleading people. Mis misinformation. Like, it got to be a law against that. Yes, go to the video. What a video. Which one? Karma coming back to her. Yes, it is, Justine. Go pick up your gift from the post carrier. You need to be... Okay, yes. I, I was just telling them earlier that I need to go to the post office because I need to send off a couple things to a couple people and I haven't made it to the post office. So I need to do all that at once. She was looking for a free place to sleep and content. She is wicked. Yes, she's the wicked witch of the Texas. <laughs> Justine is the only YouTuber I follow over five years and true my and true for my sis. Oh, thank you too much. 
You know I love you. Thank you. She's a yeah, the wicked witch of the Texas. What you got? I can't even say wicked witch of the South, but baby, we she the wicked witch of Texas. I don't know nobody else in Texas. Texas wicked, but her. But you gotta think that's the land of the Texas Saint, Saint Texas of the Chainsaw Massacre. We don't know if they related or what. Oh my God, sometimes I can't believe the shit I say sometimes. <laughs> Let me see if my phone got Instagram. I mean, YouTube. Oh, it got YouTube. What's... This is the type of stuff Kai like to... This is, kind of... this is the type of stuff Kai like to look at. Like, I asked, I said, why you keep looking at that baby? He's like, ain't she cute? Give me the phone. You're not going to keep on looking at this baby until she's cute. <laughs> really got to get stuff done, train. Okay. At this break, she's going to see her. She's going to get hit. I feel it. I feel like something is coming close. She's, 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 um, she is like, what you call that? When you, when you, um, some, she's like something of the law. She's like, she's getting too close to comfort. It's like she's something of the law. Like she's she's breaking too many laws. She's breaking way too many laws. And to inform people to, oh, you don't got to pull over. You ain't, my damn it. I ain't never heard you ain't got to pull over. So you can just keep on riding like OJ. And you ain't got to pull over. Girl, bye. <laughs> no, I ain't no quitter. Cat Williams told us that this is the year of exposure. Yes. And I've been hearing a lot of people use God, use uh, God's name so they can get followers and people to, you know, follow them and give to them. It's a lot of people on YouTube that do that. It's a lot of people. She one of them. She one of them. She one of them. She ain't the only one. She's one of them, but she ain't the only one. I've been hearing about other people faking that they're pastors and preachers and wannabes on YouTube. I've been seeing it on T-Page because, you know, I watch T-Pages. <laughs> and the T-Pages be exposing. They'll never expose her because she, she's not, she's, she thinks she's famous. Don't nobody know she even exists. Girl, I didn't even know she exists. She'll never be on the T-Pages. <laughs> You always have to pull over, period. Then she thinks she's 45. I heard that. Like, how you 50 some years, almost 60, and calling other people old? Girl, you're a senior citizen. Like, 55 is senior citizen. I got five more years, baby, and I will be senior citizen. I don't even call nobody old. I ain't got no business calling nobody old. Uh uh. Baby, and I'm young. I'm 50 years young. <laughs> I ain't got no business calling nobody Oh, Child, she might be visiting the clink clink at the raw. Yes! It is illegal. It's called animal cruelty. It's illegal to do a hit and run on a dog. I just Googled it. Nowhere they said if you don't feel comfortable, you're supposed to turn your flashes on. No way. Nowhere. Now, if you don't feel comfortable... You make sure your let your you make sure your doors is locked when you getting pulled over, and maybe put your glass down a little bit if you feel uncomfortable. And you can request you can request for a sergeant or the sheriff to come there. You can request for another higher person if you feel uncomfortable. And you sit up there and let these people off the goddamn highway because, baby, I would never leave off the highway because that's where you got all these people constantly moving at. And you go down the street to the end of the somewhere in the dark. You're not that scared. You're not that scared because if you were scared, you would have pulled your ass right over where I got all these people and, and potential uh, witnesses if something happens to me. Like... And then she lied and said it was constant. What she said was uh, construction. It did, she said it was constructions and the <laughs> and the, the streets was narrow. 
Girl, you ain't even got no business driving at nighttime. You can't even see. Thank you. Saying I look amazing. Thank you. Just think people here over 60 years old, 60 years old and over, then you're a citizen. See? Here they got 55 plus communities. And, and, and restaurants, You, if you're 55 and up, you get senior citizen discount. Girl, you're a senior citizen. Like, how you gonna call somebody Oh, What's the personal page? Um, it's just things we're on Instagram. That's the only personal page I know. Hey, everybody. Have your camera on and always have somebody on your speakerphone when you're driving. Yes, Vernell. Yes. Because if somebody getting pulled over, I'm calling somebody. Because you we already know the police is dirty, right? We know the police is dirty. So the thing you're going to do is you're going to call somebody and say, hey, the police just put me over, stay on the phone. And I'm going to be like, okay, put me on speak. I want to hear every damn thing. I want them to hear me too. <laughs> she had us on live. And they had a nerve. I'm calling 911 because you don't have to pull over. I said, ooh. She make, she make it easy for people to talk about her. She make it so easy because she's such an idiot. I want senior citizen discount. Well, I get it. Here, senior citizen 60 and up. Oh, Louisa, it's here I think it's 55. Hey, Siri, how old is senior citizen? This damn phone don't got hey, Siri. I just love to say that. Um, let's see what Siri say. No, let's see what Google. This is Google. What? Hold on, y'all. What age? Oh, Lord. I can speak it. What age? What age is senior? Says my. Oh, yeah, some places they said general general reaches 60 or 65. 60 or 65 is becoming a senior citizen. Well, maybe she's considered elderly community. I don't know what the hell 55 is. See, the age is 55 is considered a senior citizen. This is crazy. Don't trust Google. I don't know. Maybe it... it Maybe it's different in different states, maybe in different communities. Maybe it's different. Some places say 55, some places say 60 or 65. So, in Arizona, it's 55 and up. See, because I see 55 everywhere. I see 55 and up communities. I see 55 and um, on the menus at IHOP. So, baby, she's a senior citizen. Okay, Miss Gloria, where you at? There, she wouldn't be, but in Texas. Let's let's see what's the senior citizen in Texas. That's what I want to know. It's fifty five and up all across the state, and anything you seeing or discount on Tuesdays at Ross. So get your grandparents and your. No wonder she liked to go to Ross. No wonder she liked to go. She using senior citizen discount. Wow. I want to do Timu. I want to do Timu have senior citizen discount. Shit, Timu is already cheap. I don't know how much more of a discount we can get from Timu. Uh -uh. I can't believe this lady went to the zoo. Does she still got it up? What? Where she went to? The, how old is she? I think she's 56 or 57. Is that old? Cause she says she's young. Fifty six. You are beautiful. Where your daughter gets that's where where your daughter get it from. Yes, period. <laughs> she get it from my mama. I get mail from AARP. I be getting mail from AARP. Why they be sending me stuff? She look ninety one anyway, so it don't matter. <laughs> Trash. 
thing. <laughs> Not the 91. She really needs... I think she would be nice if she fixed herself up. She doesn't... Her hair would throw her all the way off. So she would need to wear a wig. Because wearing that, whatever she got in her head, mm-mm. Mm -mm. She has to wear a wig. Then that would be like half, you know, getting herself together. Every first of the month on Tuesday at Walgreens, you get 20% off. You hear that? You hear that, Tasty? You get 20% off at Walgreens every Tuesday, first of the month. Take us to Walgreens. <laughs> Instead of Ross and Dollar Tree and stuff, take us to Walgreens on a Tuesday after the first of the month. 20% off. Who y'all talking about? We ain't talking about nobody, y'all. Candace, don't need to worry about it. We, ain't we, we just talking about somebody crazy. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. We just talking about somebody crazy. They ain't got it all. She has really lost her marbles. I I, I wish I I wish I never met her. I wish I never met her. But I know there's a reason why I met her. I knew that I know there's a reason. Little mommy, where you going tonight? The eye lump in her neck and attitude leaves her. She has a horrible attitude. When they be showing how she talked to her supporters, she's horrible to them. I wouldn't even be watching. I really wouldn't. Like, the way she carry on and snap, she was snapping on them. Did I tell you to go over there? Stop watching them. <laughs> what? Oh, they put, oh my God, I can't. I don't know if it's Aries B or who, but I stop watching them. And I'm always hearing Deborah say, y'all over here commenting. Did Tasty give y'all permission to come over here? <laughs> I'm like, ooh, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is like a, this like a uh, Jim Jones. This just like a Jim Jones. A modern day woman Jim Jones. She's leading a whole different kind of people. Like, the moment she started talking about me, baby, I was gone. I was gone. I knew it was something, something evil about her because you left my house. I didn't say shit to you. We didn't get no argument. The minute you talked about I knew you was pressed. I knew you had something inside of you that was full of jealousy. And what they say, seven deadly sins, and one of them is jealousy, envy, or whatever, definitely full of it. She's full of it. Full of it. And I had to let go. I was like, I had to be done. I was done. Um, we talking about this fake van lifer. You don't even have to worry about it. It's, it's a fake van lifer. That's evil. Okay, I'm going to make me one more drink. You can see her evil all damn videos. I swear, I swear, when I was watching her, and maybe because she was trying to be goody good two shoe, because she was on tiny home tours. So she's probably trying to be like, doo -doo 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 -doo, goody good shoes. I'm getting people from tiny home tours. So I'm thinking that's probably when I met her, when she was in a good, goody good two shoe phase. Because baby, she's not in a goody, goody good two shoe phase no more. It's, that's, it's over with. And I'm hoping people are starting to see that. I'm hoping people starting to see that. Because I once was blind, but now I see. <laughs> I once was blind, but now I see. I see. I see right through the three eyes. I look like an alcoholic coming through like this. I look like an alcoholic coming through like this. I was one long. <laughs> oh, hey, Angie, welcome. I don't know, y'all. Remember the story she told about her being set up by her old friends while I fell 
like she was the one who was setting them up. Oh, let me tell you something. This lady be talking about herself. She be talking about herself. Like, who put my address? Hey, if one, one of y'all uh, was the people that put my address out here, come forward. Because Tasty said she didn't do it. Come forward. I want to see which one of y'all was the ones to put the address. Which one of y'all doxed me? Which one of y'all tried to blackmail me? Because she knew, she knew all my information. So which one of y'all found out? Because so she said she didn't dox nobody. I don't know how anybody could have found out my information. Come forward. Come forward right now. You got balls to, 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 to try to blackmail, blackmail me. You got balls to put my name on, I mean, my address on the internet. Come forward right now because you're watching me. You're watching me. Come forward right now. Because Stacy said she didn't do it. So which one of y'all did it? Yeah, I wait. That lady has lost her marbles. Just think she gonna lie on you about drinking. I don't, let me tell you, Miss Gloria, she, if she wanna call me an alcoholic, if she wanna say I'm on here, cause I drink on, on stream a lot. If she wanna say I'm an alcoholic, if she want, whatever she say, it cannot face me. Cause I'm gonna look at her and then I'm gonna look at me. Let me let me let me go to Aaron's B page real quick. Cause there's this one picture on Aaron's B page I look at all the time and I'm like, what the? Every time I go to her page, this damn picture is is looking at me. And I'll be like, what the? Hold on, let me see. Oh, I forgot. This is not the phone I normally go on YouTube with. This is the phone my grandson use. So I have to look stuff up. Excuse me. Yes, I don't care, Miss Gloria. She can say whatever she want to say. She can't say I'm on drugs. She can't say none of I'll take a drug test for y'all. I can do whatever. I can do whatever to prove whatever. Okay? But at the end of the day, baby, you look at her and you look at me. And you think I'm gonna sit up there and fight back with that? Girl, you got a problem. Hold on, let me let me look at this picture. This old Eris B, because you know, I don't watch her. Let me go. Is it Eris B shorts? Where the picture at? Where the picture at? It probably ain't on her shorts. It's probably one of her videos. <laughs> Let me look at the videos, because this shit is crazy. Where the picture at? Because every time I be looking at, uh, I, I can't even argue with her. I, I can't. Where the picture at? Well, I can't find it now. It comes up on my phone all the time. <laughs> I can't even fucking find it. It comes up on my phone all the time. No, I can't find it. Because this phone is just not used to it. Oh, here we go, Lord Jesus. It goes away. Oh, when I click on her video, it goes away. Let me see. <laughs> oh, okay, TK. You the one I seen at the grocery store. <clears throat> you know, I, just, I didn't tell nobody I seen you at the grocery store. But uh, because, you know, I don't want people to be thinking I'd be lying if I said, oh, I seen a supporter today at the grocery store, you know. But yeah, okay, so you the one. Welcome, girl. Now I see which one you are. <laughs> I'm just at Eris B.O. videos. I'm trying to see if I could pull it up because the minute I clicked off her thing, it went away. The little thumbnail. Oh, my God. I hate it. It did that. It's not going to do it. I don't know if we can do it today. Oh, it's not going to show, is it? I love Eris B videos. She be like, look at her, look at her. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I 
Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh, Lord, please forgive me. I shouldn't be talking about folks. I shouldn't be talking about folks. Huh. Girl, you think I'm going to argue with somebody look like that? Do you really think I'm going to do that? I would never in my mind fix myself. I don't care what she say about me. I don't have the heart. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. I don't care what she say about me, Lord Jesus. Let her talk, please, because I cannot talk about her. Goodbye. I got too much going on. I got too much. I'm blessed. I, 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 I cannot even. You know what I'm saying? I cannot. She want to say Miss, Miss Gloria. She want to call me alcohol. Girl, Miss Gloria, look. If she want to call me an alcoholic baby, let her go ahead. Let her go ahead. Bless her heart. Bless her heart, Lord Jesus. Bless her. I cannot. <laughs> Every time I see that damn picture, I don't know why the hell he come. I don't know why I that picture. <laughs> Eris B got out the bed. <laughs> she got out the bed, walked over to the TV. <laughs> and she said, look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at poor child. I cannot. I'm going to let her say whatever she wants to say. Oh, and, and all that material stuff ain't going to get you to heaven. And you're going to hell. And it don't matter how good you look. It don't matter how big your butt is. It don't matter. Your body, you use your body to get all the men's attention. Your own only fans. You're getting pimp. You're pimping out hustles. And you're making money all kind of ways. And yeah. Baby, if she go ahead and let her go ahead and talk about it. And you're driving a car that's expensive. Why you can't drive a Toyota? Why you can't drive a Honda? Why did you have to go foreign? Why did you have to pick a car that costs so much? And all the Louis Vuitton and the Gucci in your closet, it ain't going to save you. It ain't going to save you. When God come, you going straight to hell. All that shit you got in your closet, all that design, all them shoes, all them clothes, all that's going to take you straight to hell. What else, Tasty? What else you got to say? What else you want to say? And your hair, baby, I don't got no hair. Do you think I care? But all that long hair is going to take you to hell. All that long hair will take you to hell. What else you going to say, Tasty? What else? And that little waist. And you went and had surgery. Yeah, these people cut themselves up so they can look good. They cut themselves up so they can attract all the men. But baby, I got all this stomach and I don't care. I don't got no button. I don't care. She going straight to hell. What else? What else? Because baby, ain't nothing, nothing you say. It's gonna make me mad. Look at you. Look at you. Hold on. Look, baby, look at you. Look at you. Look at me. Look at you. Look at me. Look at you. <laughs> I can't, y'all. I can't. you for the craziest shit but she swear she's a messenger from God she swear he told her three people would die this year 
Three people will die. Three people will die this year, according to her. <laughs> I'm done. Just the care to know she's a nasty, nasty person. You are not. Right. Like, I don't care. Like, she wants to talk. She talk about everything. Like, she talk about everything I have. Things I pray for. Things that has been a blessing. Things that I've achieved. You don't know what's on my list of prayers. You don't know the things I ask for. You don't know what had happened in my life. You don't know how I speak to God. You don't know none of that. And for you to sit up there and try to down talk about anything, babe, you can never talk about. You can never make me feel bad about my body, about my surgery, about the things that I want, the things I bought, the things I have. You can never make me feel bad, bad about any of that. Any of that. I'm good. I can't talk about you. You have nothing. You are already down at the bottom of the barrel. Like, talking about you would be just senseless to me. You're already at the bottom. I came to you to try to help you. I came to you to try to help you. You didn't reach out to help me. You didn't have to help me. I was trying to help you. Then you got jealous. You got mad. For what? Never threw nothing in her face. Never act like I was better than her. None of that. Was honestly, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, was trying to help her evil ass. And then now she over here praying for people destruction. Saying people, people's gonna, things going to happen to people and their kids and their grandkids. How evil is that? I talk, my grandbaby come on here all the time talk about my grandbaby. Eris B talk about her grandbaby. Deborah, Define and Deborah talk about her grandbaby. We talk about our grandkids. Baby, what are you trying to say? What, 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 what point are you trying to make? Just because you don't have a relationship with your child and your grandbaby, you can't knock us. You can't knock us for being who we are. From what I see, listen to Eris B and Deborah. Deborah said she had spent so much money to, for her son's birthday. And you see, I mean, uh, Deborah was saying she had spent so much money for her son's birthday one time. We got Eris B got a good relationship with her son. He comes in and help her out with the house and everything. Baby, because you don't get a relationship, you can't knock us. God is not going to tear us down and hurt us. We got, we helped what he helped us to have. We take care of what he has blessed us with. I'm so sorry you ran away from yours. That's your fault. That's your business. But you can't sit up here and think you're going to pray against us for something that we did that was good. You can't do that. You just can't. You can't pray against people that's mothers. You can't pray against people that's being grand, grandmothers to their grandchildren. We love ours. We're going to take care of ours. And you have the audacity to tell people about parenting and what they should buy for their children and grandchildren. Oh, y'all spend that much money on clothes. Y'all shouldn't even do that. Why are you worried about it? Is it your money? Is it your money? What you worried about it for? Don't worry about what somebody put on their damn kids' feet and the Jordans and the Balenciagas and the Gucci. Who gives a F? Why you worried about it? You didn't put a damn thing on your child foot. Not a, not a. You abandoned yours. You abandoned your child like you abandoned that damn dog that you hit. You hit the dog and you abandoned it. Oh, y'all, I think I hit something. Like, what you mean you think you hit something? Pull your ass over. See what, the, go check it out. See if you hit something. 
Because we heard the dog. Yet don't have a relationship with her own mom. Don't care. Well, she said she wouldn't go to her. Somebody said she said she wouldn't go to her mom's funeral. Girl, she want to be just like Peaches. I swear she, that's the same shit Peach McIntyre said about her mama. I won't go to my mom's funeral. Well, now you got to repeat. Here, here, here go Tasty. She want to be like every goddamn body else. Now you want to repeat what Peach McIntyre said. She don't want to go to her mama's funeral, so now you don't want to go on your mama's funeral. For what? For what? If your mama did something to you, you know the word, word forgiveness. Because that's what Jesus would say. You have to forgive those. You preaching, right? You the van preacher. The van preacher, right? You going you gonna, you gonna to preach about forgiveness? You don't know nothing about that, do you? You going to preach about healing? You know nothing about that, do you? But you want to preach about people being a mother. And a grandmother. Girl, bye. Oh, my God. Y'all working me up. Justin, you're one of the realest of the real. What happened, sis? What did I miss? <laughs> None. We just talking about crazy people. Just crazy over there wishing and praying on other people and acting a fool. She has zero power over anything happening. Exactly. She knew she hit that dog. Animal cruelty. She hit that dog. Wait. She hit a dog? Yes, Inger. Inger! You missing it? Girl, she hit a dog. She kept going. She hit the dog. We seen a dog in her glasses. We seen a dog in her glasses. And then right after she, you seen the dog, she hit it and you heard, like you heard the little yepping. Girl, you got to go to Eris B and, and Circus Recap page. They got it. They got the whole thing. You, They, they got it. And some people said today that she took down the video. Girl, but it don't, it don't matter. It's already out here. They got evidence. They got evidence. Baby, I tell you, she has really lost her marbles. She hit a dog, y'all, and didn't stop. And she said it on the line. I think I hit something. I don't watch it, but just recap it. That was this. Yeah, I had to watch it a few times. Because at first, I was like zooming in, zooming in. Then I had to put it up to my my earpiece like, oh, shit, that was a dog. You, you know how you step on a dog foot or a tail, and it makes that little, that little screeching noise? That's exactly what the dog sound like. I had little chihuahuas, you step on their they little paws all the time. And then when I stepped on the paw, they used to walk around like, I'm like, oh my God, did I break the, did I break the foot? Like, the, the way she carrying it, you think I break I'm like, did I break it? Next thing you know, they were just running around like ain't nothing just happened. I said, Lord Jesus, at least it ain't broke. God damn. <laughs> you know, these little dogs, you can't really see. They just, but this dog was kind of, I would think this dog is a little bit bigger because she's in a van and we saw her in the glasses. The sound of the dog killed me. Thank you, Amy. She's so used to abandoning people in her life. That dog didn't mean nothing to her. Nothing. But it is against the law, Tasty. That is animal cruelty. What is AARP? There is no way I could have kept driving like that. Me either, Lisa. If I hit the damn dog on accident, I can't. I would have felt so sorry. I be like, I don't even. I don't even know. I be thinking like, <clears throat> I be thinking, what do I give to people for hitting their dog? Because I'm just like, oh my god, how can I make this right? I'm so sorry. Like I didn't see your dog just ran out in front of me. I didn't see him, him, her, who, whatever. Like, what about that? Would have been a child. You just gonna hurt here to just keep on going. What about if that was a child? You just gonna keep on. I think I hit something. She said she thinks she hit, hit something. Kept going. Yes, y'all. Can we get the three hundred likes, please? I used to have two sausage dogs, and before they passed, they were my world. I could never hurt an animal. Me either, Inger. 
That's why I was kind of like, this was so upsetting to me. Like, I don't, leave, I don't really address things this lady do because I really don't care. She's goofy and who cares? Like, I don't, I don't address. She do a lot of shit for attention. And it, I guess she thinks the shit she do is going gonna to go viral off of it. I don't know. You know, these people think crazy stuff in their head. But anyways, um, she hit the damn dog, okay? She's a weirdo. Who does that? Hit the damn dog. They always trying to preach to she always trying to preach about God and the things that she say be so wrong and backwards because God is good, but the way you talk about him, you make him seem like God is evil. So what God is you praying to? Because you ain't praying to the God I know. I only know one God. But you might you might be praying to a different one. Over 300 people. Don't forget to like the live. Yes, please like the live, y'all. We should be at 300 likes. Just then, let me see. Exactly. Let's get the emergency vet room. Been sick. Hit it. If it hit a child, saw the dog. It... Man, this is crazy, Lisa. Just then, you got my stomach over here hurting. <laughs> Abigail, girl. It's not the God I believe in. Exactly, Chihuahua, mommy. Mama, Chihuahua, Mama, you own Chihuahuas. I used to have Chihuahuas. You know what God she serve? <laughs> exactly. Cause you know how to say, "Oh, y'all, God is good." Yes, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. So if God is good, why is you telling him to do all this evil stuff? Because God is good. So obviously you're you're referring to somebody we cannot relate to. You know, everybody got their own gods. People got the statue. Some people think water is a god. Like people is crazy. She's definitely, definitely praying to the wrong person, you know. Lady T, you're absolutely right. You cannot play with God. And that is the why we're watching destruction before our eyes. Do y'all see that? Y'all cannot act like y'all don't see that. First thing, somebody's trying to serve her. Let's not forget that. Somebody's trying to serve her. Okay? Somebody's serving her. She's ran from the camper because she don't want to get served. Okay? While running from the camper and going down there to Texas to take care of some business, she gets on the little high-speed chase. I call it a high-speed chase. I don't know if you call it a high-speed chase, but baby, when you don't pull over for the police, baby, you're on a high-speed chase, okay? Next thing you know, now all of a sudden, she hits a dog. Like, if these destructions, if we don't see destruction while we right before our eyes, I don't even know what to tell you. Then, you know, they were saying she was bleeding all over the place. You was bleeding all over the place. Just blood coming out of you from nowhere. Just not. Do you see what you're doing? Girl, I'll be falling on my knees right now. Like, dear Lord, God, forgive me. Girl, you just ain't got no damn common sense. You crazy. Something is really, really wrong. <clears throat> Like, it is crazy how people is out here doing. Like, I don't get it. And then you, you're, you're a van preacher. Because all you do is preach inside your van. And all you do is talk about negativity. I have not went to church one time. And I heard the preacher talk about anything negative. I never have. Did you have you ever, you ever went to church and y'all talk about, the preacher talked about things that was negative? This van preacher, it, it has gone berserk, okay? I, I, don't even, I can't even say she a van lifer no more because she, she don't show nothing about van life, nothing. And then she's doing, I guess now people saying she's walking through stores showing stuff, so I guess she's trying to do another copycat creator look that somebody else does because these other content creators, which has 
some, some people have character. Some people have amusement. Some people have something that others are interested in, okay? Just because you see somebody eating on the channel, they blow up. That don't mean you're going to blow up. Just because you see somebody blowing up on ASMR, that don't mean you're going to blow up. Just because you're seeing people walking through a store and, and getting good views and they're blowing up. And just because you see somebody doing van life, don't mean you going to blow up. Ma'am, do you. Stop trying to do what everybody else do. That's why you're, you're screwed up now. You's a wannabe. I'm a wannabe king. I'm a Toys R Us king. And you's a wannabe. Get it together. Then she worry about people subscribing and want to talk about people. She thinks she's a superstar at 40K subscriber. If she thinks she's a superstar at 40K subscriber, baby, I hate to see when she hit 100. You can't, you wouldn't be able to tell her nothing. Do you understand me? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell her nothing. She don't see it because she's always trying to wish stuff on somebody and don't, doesn't take a real look in the mirror. She's will see her real, exactly. I don't know. Yeah, not talking about people. Who is you, Gigi? What are you talking about? Wow, Circus Recap. I've been checking your channel out after the live. Yes, go to Circus Recap. Check out the live. Uh, somebody said today she was... Um, uh, um, somebody said she was today at the zoo. She playing in our face. So you went to the zoo after hitting the dog. They want to act like, hey, I'm an animal lover. Hey, you want some treats? Hey, I'm a whisper. I'm a horse. Would y'all say she was a, she said to horse, she was a horse whisper. <laughs> oh. Do I have any mods in here? Because I don't, I, I swear I'm on my phone, but let me see if I can click the name. Oh, Lisa got it. Lisa did it. Not the zoo, just thing. <laughs> it was a farm. Oh, I thought she was at the zoo. Oh my god. <laughs> Forgive me, y'all, cause y'all don't. I don't watch your content, so I'm kind of getting all this information from everybody. I'm so sorry, y'all. She was at the farm, a ranch, a, a ranch or a farm or something. <laughs> So she went there playing horse whisper. So. She went to the, she went to the farm. I thought it was a zoo. Sorry, y'all. Um, so anyways, she went to the, um, cause I recently just went to the zoo and y'all haven't seen the vlog yet, but it's coming, but I've recently took Kai to the zoo. So I'm thinking about zoo is in my head. So anyways, this woman had went to the, um, a, a farm or a ranch or whatever. And she went to go play in our face talking about some, uh, uh, she's an animal whisper. Did you whisper to the damn dog that you hit? Did you whisper to the dog to see, was the dog okay? While you took your ass out on that road and you glant, you looking like this and you hit, oh, I think I hit something. Did you whisper to the damn dog to see was he okay? Dog, whis animal whisper, whatever whisper you is, did you do it? That's what I want to know. Can you please make a video telling us about how you hit the, what happened when you hit the dog? What was going through your mind? I want to see that video. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. Make that video. I want to see. I've never in the history of YouTube seen no shit like this in my life. I've never in history seen people done conduct crime. <laughs> she, what she did was a crime. Cruelty to animals. I'm talking about this fake van lifer. Cruelty to animals. 
Animal cruelty. If that's not animal cruelty, baby, I don't know what it is. You tell me. Huh? I always get the white shirt. Hold on while I get the white stuff on my... If it's not animal cruelty, what is? I've never seen anyone like her, period. Period, poo. Period. Never in my life. Never in my life have I seen anything like that. I reached out to this one. I seriously felt sorry for her. I felt sorry about for her. And I, man, I don't, you know what? I, I think it was a warning and I ignored it because when I had reached out to her to hook up with her, she was like, I went up there to, uh, this is the guy, honest truth, I can't lie. I went up there to uh, Courtside to hook up with her. She was like, oh, I'm, I was busy or whatever. She was busy. So I didn't think nothing of it. I just went ahead and made a day of myself. I went to walking around, looking at shops, and I camped there. I vlogged this. It's on YouTube. So I went and vlogged it. I got scared in the middle of the night. It was dark. I got my stuff, got my car, and I took off because something was playing in my head. Like, what about somebody come back here to the car? They seen you was by yourself. You, They seen you. They was right because people was riding around just looking. And when I was out there starting my campfire and stuff, people was noticing me. And I, in my mind, while I'm sitting there in the back seat, I said, now, what about if somebody come back here and they see me, they going to do something to me. I said, man, if I don't get my ass in this fucking front seat, take off, man, I jumped my ass in that front seat, and I took off. I put out my couch. I couldn't do it, y'all. I left. I left. Now, I believe that was a warning. When she couldn't hook up with me, I should never, that was a warning not to hook up with her. Then one time I was in her live, and she was like, yeah, Justine, I'm in Arizona. Do you want to hook up? We can go meet for food. And I was thinking to myself, okay, we can meet. But I felt like that was a warning and I didn't take heed. But you know what? I'm learning. I'm trying to learn these. I'm getting more into signs now. After going through this destructive ass relationship I just got out of, we're talking about straight narcissists. So after going through this straight relationship, and she's a female narcissist and I was dealing with a male narcissist. So after going through this relationship, crazy ass relationship I just went through and being threatened and all that kind of shit, girl, I'm starting to take heed to signs because I'm, I'm starting to learn these, these red flag and these warnings because somebody told me, Justine, there's warning before destruction. And baby, I don't want to see destruction. Because it was destruct, destruction was coming with her. When you take people in, information and put it on the internet, destruction was, I was headed almost to destruction. She tried to ruin me. She was wishing evil on me. And she still wished evil on me. <laughs> that shit ain't stopped. But while she over there wishing evil on somebody, look what's happening to her. She's getting pulled over by the police. She done hit a damn dog. Now they're looking for her. Police, been, somebody, lawyers been looking for her to get her served for uh, uh, scamming. And then now all of a sudden, uh, uh, now they're going to be looking for her for animal cruelty, for the hit and run. Yes, look at the signs. I found you last year from watching one of her videos. You was looking advanced together. Yes, I was considering that lifestyle. Before I even met her, I was talking about van life or living in my car. I went out in the woods with my son. This is before I met her, and I went camping. <laughs> if it wasn't my son next to me in his car, I don't even know how. I, that's the only probably reason why I probably made it. That shit is scary. Somebody can just come up to your door and just, I mean, people can come to your up to your door in your house, but still. Eris B on her neck. Eris B don't like how she do people. So people, well, Eris B, 
what Eris B and everybody else doing, I feel like what they're doing is they're um they're giving awareness. Okay? They're not trying to come on here to necessarily talk about her, but try to let people be aware of her. You know, she used God to try to draw people in. And then people sitting up think, thinking, oh, she's so godly and she's so helpless and she live in her van and, and she has no hair and she got a lump on her neck and she's blind in one eye. Let us help her. Let us contribute. People use their disability all the time to get money. I see it every day in Arizona. It be people on the corner with no legs sitting in a wheelchair. And I be like, now how you get your ass all the way over here with no legs in this wheelchair, holding up a sign, talking some help, veteran uh, help, need money, and all that kind of stuff. People use their disability to advantage, to take advantage of people. So all people do, I get it now. I, I understand. Y'all trying to bring awareness. These people are getting scammed and schemed. Then the minute somebody contact a lawyer to try to get her served, she went running. She talked about it in her own videos. Stop trying to stop Justine for voicing her opinion. Thank you, Luan. Somebody trying to stop me for voicing my opinion. But let me speak. Shit, I'm bringing awareness. I've been taking advantage of. You didn't think I was taking advantage of? When somebody put my address on the internet, talking about some go to her house and get some monkey. What you wanted to do? What you want the people to come to? Army? Is that what you wanted? You jealous, wicked woman? You wanted the people to come and do something to me. And you think I'm supposed to have a heart for this woman? Sitting up there trying to blackmail me. Texting me, if you don't give me some money, I'm going to put all your information out there. Are you serious? For what? For somebody that helped you? Somebody that really wanted to help you. And now you took it, and, and, and this blackmailing stuff, how I knew it was her is when her sister came on the internet, her own flesh and blood, and said she was blackmailing men, having sex with men, and using the recordings to blackmail them, or they was gonna, she was going to tell the wife. And I said, ding, 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 ding. That was her. She did try to blackmail me. Oh my God. And my, I was talking to my kids about it. They was like, man, you knew it was her. You knew it was her. I was like, dang, that's crazy. You got to be careful who you meet. You got to be careful who you hook up with. All these YouTubers and shit, they all, they're all not good. At least she wasn't. Okay, I can't... All up, you got some that ain't no good, okay? Just let's, let's be honest. Not everybody in the world is good. So, of course, you're going to run across the ones that ain't good. She was one of them. And then you on the end, how you go about life and how you talk. And how, people seeing through you. Like, you, you make it so easy for people to not like you. You make it so easy. But hey, this is you. You just really just being yourself. And yourself is just an evil person. That's all. Come on, Justine. Have your say. She done lied on me, Miss Gloria, and so many others. I can't count. Yes. Talked about Miss Gloria. She over there helping Miss Gloria. Talked about, talk so bad about Miss Catherine. Miss Catherine has sent her money, sent the gifts, talk so bad about her. Like you take advantage of people, they sending you money, they send you gifts, and you block them. The minute they say something you don't like, 
Why everybody got to always fucking agree with you? You think people in my chat always agree? Hell no, they don't fucking always agree with me. They be putting my ass in check. You think I'm going to block them? Hell no, because they have a right to voice their opinion. They have a right to feel the way they feel. And you want people to, man, that's, you, you want people to be under your command and under your control. That's what you want. Girl, who are you? Who are you? Man actually slept with her, baby. <sighs> Go to circus, circus recap, and you'll see her jumping all on the man lap. I can't make this stuff up. You'll see her jumping all on the man lap, okay? Follow these people that I'm telling you. Follow these people. Eris B is in the chat. Her name is Bed Spread Chronicles. Follow her. Circus Recap, follow her. Okay? Follow these people. They're, they're, they're the ones that's bringing awareness out here. Okay? Let's, let's, let's help to get them. Man, let's help them to get them to 5K. Let's get 5K on the way. Let's help them to get the 5K. Shit. <laughs> I love the commentary. They haven't had the pleasure of meeting this woman in person, but I have. Okay? She's a sheep in wool's clothing. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Tasty, I hope you get your life together. I hope one of these days you're going to fall on your knees and you're going to pray to the right God. One of these days. Okay? And if it don't ever happen, have mercy on your soul. I have never met nobody like you. You're pure evil. Out of everything I have witnessed and been through on YouTube, I have never seen nobody wanting to come after me like you. I've never seen nobody want to fuck with me for no damn reason. My daughter said, my daughter said, I don't wish death on nobody. How could you pray for death on people? How could you? Death is permanent. How could you do that? That's not how you gonna have people to support you. The crazy people are really sticking around listening to this shit. They're really th condoning her praying for people downfall. You know how people would say, man, I wouldn't wish jail on my worst enemy. People say that shit all the time. But this woman will wish death on the people that have helped her. She will fuck over the people that have helped her. That's, that's crazy to me. That's really crazy to me. I've never heard or seen and met nobody. I hope I never run into another person like her. Her and my ex would probably be in a good, could make a good relation. He wished death on me too. I was like, damn, he wished death for me. She wished death for me. Damn, everybody want me dead. You want me dead. You don't like me that much. You want me dead. And what have I done for, what have I done to you? What have I, I never done nothing to him. And I never done nothing to her. So why? Jealousy is crazy. That's so weird to me. So weird. The whole wicked witch is a warlock. I said she is the modern day Jim Jones. She got some type of, uh, some type of, like she don't even take, she don't even know how to, how to have uh, a, a, a fan or a following base or a, uh, uh, she don't even know how to even care for her own supporters. She don't even know how to, to be thankful for her subscribers. Because without them, baby, you wouldn't be having all them big checks, which the big checks probably have been down because your views went down. But hey, you're destroying your own self. You're destroying your own self. 
I see it. You're self-destructing. That's on you. Man, I don't care about nothing, but that's on you. Keep on wishing. Keep on wishing bad shit on people. Keep on doing it. You think you hit a dog today. Ain't no telling what you're going to run into tomorrow. You keep on. Keep on effing over people. You think a lawyer looking for you to serve paper, baby? You better be careful who you messing with out here. You better be careful because some, some, somebody won't take, take that. Somebody won't come, through, come to you with a lawyer. They might come over there knocking at your van door, knocking at your camper. Like, you better, you better slow your road, baby girl. You move way reckless out here. <laughs> you better be careful. They're talking about all these meet and greets. Go ahead. Go ahead with your meet and greets. Don't nobody want to meet you? That's why that one time she had a so-called meet and greet and then nobody showed up and she said she had car trouble. <laughs> How the hell did you have car trouble? But then you sit there and say, hey, but if y'all still want to meet, let me know. No, like how the hell are they gonna meet you if you got car trouble? How can you still meet these people if you got car trouble? Baby, that's said it for me. I like, you know what? I can't watch this stuff. I can't, I, I gotta stop watching this stuff. <laughs> Cause this is silliness. Silliness. Next is the lockup, okay? Princess, get on out here to actually, girl. You know, you get you get people that come by and they don't even know what's happening and want to say something. Some people just want attention. <laughs> Justine, please answer the princess person like I know you can. I don't even see what the princess person said. Let me see if I can see. Yep, you digging head, you digging the hole for somebody else, and you're gonna fall your ass right on in it. <laughs> Let me see if I can see what princess. Did y'all did y'all delete it? Or was it still on here? Because I don't see nothing say princess. Y'all probably deleted it. She lied on my grandson. Now, how can you lie on a grandson? How can you lie on a seven-year-old? Tell me what 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 possibly could what possibly could my seven-year-old grandson do to bother you with your old ass? Funky, don't change your clothes, don't wash your ass, sitting in that stinking ass bed, don't, don't never get no fucking air, you're laying on a goddamn fo a sponge on a damn floor, you stink, your body stink, you, you, you don't eat properly, your lump in your neck is getting bigger, your head is getting balder, and you got a nerve to say something about a 27, I mean a little seven year old, what kind of fucking thing do you have to say about a seven year old? Huh? Because I want to know what you got to say. You's a bum ass. Like, <laughs> you bum ass. <laughs> Girl, you better leave my grandbaby out your mouth with your stinking ass breath. Leave my grandbaby out your mouth. I screenshot it and send it to my Risha. I got so mad. Okay. Oh, I see princess. She said you ate her. I ate what? <laughs> I what I eat, and baby, I don't mess with females. I'm strictly dickly, period, period. Can't no woman ever say I was with them. None. I wouldn't even let her eat my coochie. <laughs> like if she begged me, girl, get your stinking ass away from me. Uh uh. Yeah, you want to you want to hit so low that you got to bring up somebody grandbaby. What about your grandbaby? What do you know your grandbaby name? You know how your how your grandbaby look? Like what what about your grandbaby? Your grandbaby don't even know you. You're a nobody. I'm talking about somebody grandbaby. My sweet little grandson. Are you, how dare you? How dare you? Matter of fact, I'm saying. I'm going to call my grandbaby. I mean, my daughter. This bum ass pee. Whew, Lord Jesus. She make you want, she make you want to do something to her bum ass. She really makes you want to do something to her. 
I feel sorry for her bum ass. Wait, hold on. Look at that. You think I ate her? You think I ate her? Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> princess. Hey, princess. Whoever you are, princess. It's princess, you said I ate her? You, you think I ate her? Huh, princess? Maybe you want to eat her. You want to eat her, princess? Here you go. Here you go. She talking about my grandson? Look at her. Look at her. How can you fix yourself to talk about a seven-year-old? You gonna stoop your talk about me. Talk about me. You gotta stoop that low to talk about a seven-year-old? How old is your grandchild? You don't know. Is it a boy or a girl? You don't know? You don't know. Look. You're wicked. You're evil. I eat her. <laughs> I can't even get mad, y'all. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even get mad. Don't let me tell you something, um, tasty wasty. Uh, if you want to talk about somebody, clap, clap back at me. Don't don't talk about my grandson. Cause he don't even know you. He don't even know you exist. You're nobody. He he don't know nothing about you. Whatever you say, it couldn't even hurt them. All you want to do is try to push a button here. And you're going to push the wrong button. Okay? Remember, I got all these documents of you trying to uh, blackmail me. Mm -hmm. I did go to the police. I did. But at the time I went to the police, I did not know who can be behind this. But I think I need to do a follow-up. I need to say, hey, y'all, I found out who was behind this. I found out who was behind all that information I gave y'all last year. I invited this, this homeless person to my home. And she, she took my information and then she tried to blackmail me. And she put my address on the internet and told everybody to come to my house to get some monkey. So you endangered my life. You did all kinds of blackmail, fraud. The list go on. You are a criminal. You just not went to jail yet. <laughs> you just ain't got caught yet. Okay. You just ain't got caught yet. And then the trolls want to come on here talking about talking about her. Like, y'all don't even know the full story. Y'all don't even know what she's done to me. I was the one, just like y'all asses was tr you trying to help her out. Hell, I was one of I was one of y'all. Until she turned against me for no reason. Just like she's gonna turn against. A lot of y'all, just like she's turned against a lot of people that supported her. She's already done it. They're not, they're not on YouTube, but they're in the chat. They're in the chat. So when you trolls come over here talking about her, trying to take up for her, y'all don't have no idea what the hell y'all talking about. This woman ran over a damn dog and y'all done watched the live and y'all heard the damn dog yep. And y'all think it's okay. She sits over here and pray that God will, will do something to these people in their life. And y'all think that's okay. Don't come over here with that nonsense. Don't come over here with that.
Yeah, she in the chat. Chat with her, all her phones, commenting in. Girl, how about you put them all them goddamn phones down? Stop watching me. Put all them damn phones down and get on your knees and pray. Ask God to forgive you for all the wickedness. Have Tell God to heal your heart. You have been traumatized. You have not healed. And you're, 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 you're all screwed up. And they look at you. Hold on. Wait. Look at you. You need help. You, you, you need help. Stop misleading people. Stop scamming. Stop using people. If people truly want to help you, they will help you. Stop using God's name in vain. I dare her say something to me. I got her plate number. I bet Chasey in the chat. Mm hmm She is, Amy. I dare her to say something to me. I got, oh, I already read that. Hey, Justine, my said, Jay Riders, just a little, little bit. I've heard enough is enough. Tasty, you must be held accountable for your evil, wicked behavior and the trolls wake up. Please. I, I, I'm not going to come on here every day talking about her because she's not my life. Okay. What she did to that poor dog a few days ago woke something up in my in my spirit. And I feel like enough is enough. She have taken advantage of people and their kindness way, way too long. She's over there on her channel misleading people. If you truly want to be right, truly, please lead positively. Lead right. Give people proper information. Stop leading them the wrong way. And please stop praying because your prayers is all screwed up. You need to stop doing that. Okay? Like everybody said, you ain't never picked up a Bible and looked up a scripture in the Bible. Not once have you ever did that. And before you pray, before you pick up the Bible, reading the Bible, you need to pray for God to give you the wisdom that you need and the understanding of what you're reading. Make sure you pray that. Keep people and their kids and their grandkids out your mouth. Because remember, you got a kid and you got a grandkid too. And I really truly believe, y'all, if something happened to her son and something happened to her grandchild, she wouldn't give two fucks. I really do believe that. This woman is evil. She says she cared nothing about her mama. She says she don't care nothing about her mama. She don't talk to her family. She don't have no relationship. Her sister came on here talking about her. She don't have no, she don't talk to people in her family. So if she don't have a good relationship with her family, then what the hell do you think she gonna have with you? She don't even claim her sister. She don't do that stuff. Y'all, let's just pray. April Fools. <laughs> never do what she do okay i'm my own person okay i pray god heal her okay heal her mind heal her heart because she's dealing with some stuff okay but don't come on here talking about my grandbaby make sure you keep him out your mouth okay I don't know if I got reach your number in here. Oh, shit. I don't know if this is her number. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I got her number in here. Because I was going to call her. I don't know her number by her. But, um, this would, hey, would y'all like to see a live with me and my Risha in Eris B? 
because y'all know I can make it happen. Okay, would y'all like to see a live with us coming on here? Because I would love for us to give all of our opinion at once. Okay, and my daughter was trying, was going to do a live, but you know, she has a big following and she just don't want to like give that woman that much attention. So, um, maybe we can do it on my page or Eris B page. I'll get with Eris B and C. But if y'all want to, I can make that happen where we go live, maybe on StreamYard, and we have a discussion. Because I did not know she had mentioned something about my, ba my baby. That's my baby, right? So I didn't even know she had said something about my baby. And I really would love to get her input on everything, too. Yes, perfect. That would be nice. Okay, Aries B is down. And I just got to talk to my daughter. I, I already know she would be down. I just have to make the time with her because, again, she's on a whole different schedule, y'all. But I can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? I can make it happen. I'm the mama. That was <laughs> I can make it happen. So that's how we'll do. We'll go live. We'll have a little discussion. Because like I said, even all this evil stuff and everything, we all know what she have done. Nobody, eat, nobody wish ill will on her. But I also see the destruction the destruction that's, that's, that's in her life. But I definitely don't wish ill will on nobody, okay? You know how people say, I don't wish jail on nobody. I don't wish no ill will on nobody. But girl, you're going to have to get on your knees and pray to, to the right God. Not, not the God you know, because the God you know, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Do a live stream again of my Risha funny. Yes. Yes. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this live. I appreciate it. Eris B, you going live? Is you going live tonight? Or is you taking the night off? You going live? Or is it too late? Or what? Because uh, Make sure y'all watch. Y'all follow Eris B. Her name is Best Bread Chronicles. She's good. She gives very good commentary. Very good. She doesn't deserve your beautiful energy. Right. No, she's not going live. Okay. Anyway, still follow her and go watch her videos. She do good. Anyways, April Fools, I'm not going to quit YouTube. I'm still going to stay on here. And I thank you guys for coming in tonight. I love each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to hit the like button. We have over 300 likes. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys so much. I'm getting back seeing, especially after I took my meds. Justine isn't the messy one. Yeah, she's giving, yeah. I'm not the messy one, okay? I'm just addressing some things that I've been through, what I've seen. I, I, I don't like to give the energy, baby, because I'm positive over here, okay? I love you. Love you too, Amy. Love you, Angela. Good night, guys. I'll see you in the next live. Mwah.